I picked a terrible spot to try to film this video. Okay, so mid-year I went ahead and I picked up this 2006 Honda Element EX all-wheel drive from my buddy Caesar. Um, we actually did a nice little trade for my truck and his Element, so um, we're both happy. We're kind of on good ground with with the trade, and uh, so I have this little guy now. And with my previous car, that I had a Honda. No, I'm sorry, it was a GMC Envoy. And I had a similar type camp set up in that thing, but obviously this is a lot smaller inside, so I had to redesign the entire thing. And the bed that I had made for that Envoy did kind of fit in here lengthwise, but it was way too wide, like, and there was just no way to cut it down. So I ended up getting rid of that one and just going with an easier, lighter setup. Let's check it out. Okay, so to start, nothing in front. Ready for two passengers, and nothing is being stored here or anything like that. We are just simply ready to drive at all times. Let me show you my little library and emergency. Oh, my little bookmark came out. Let's put that guy back in there. My emergency phone charger right here for my iPhone. So right here in this little door, I have just some books, just for reading if I get bored. Frankenstein, Empire Strikes Back. What else do we got here? We got a Dracula book, and we've got The Shining. Obviously, I am a huge horror fan and Star Wars, so that works out well. And then right back here, I just have easy access to my Coleman cooler. I love everything vintage Coleman. I think this is a 1984 model. Works great. I only go out, you know, one or two days at a time. I don't need a big Yeti holding ice for 25 days. I just need cool, calm, and something easy to pack. So we have our little Coleman cooler from 1984 here that works out perfectly and fits in the space nicely. I have a little floor mat that runs the length of the back of the bed on just the side that's not uh, underneath the camping cot because I have storage underneath there and I'll show you that in just a second. Easy access to my hiking shoes right here. Those just fit in right there nicely. I have my little mini Rambo knife right here with all the stuff and that comes in handy whenever needed. I have my hiking sticks right here and I have a fold out table that's tucked in right here on the side. I could obviously fit more there, but this is kind of good enough. And I'll show you why I don't have my chairs, my camping chairs here in just a second. So I also have a Joysis uh, charging device. So this is everything that I need for a couple days of being out and about. I have USB chargers, I have AC, I have 12 volt. I also have a wireless charging port on top. And this thing is great, fits in there nicely. And my Coleman camping stove fits very nice right here on this top shelf. And this top shelf, this little shelf right here, this whole thing right here was $24.99, I believe, at Ikea. Very easy to build and it fits in nicely. I don't have a ton of room, but I was walking around Ikea and I came across that and I'm like, oh my God, I think that little thing would work. That's exactly what I need and it's perfect. And here's that little shelving from the other side, guys. So I have a Coleman 425E that is a 1971 model stove. Fits very perfectly right in there. It doesn't move around or shift. I do have some of that uh, drawer liner on the bottom, that rubber drawer liner. I'm not sure if you can see it down there, but I have that rubber drawer liner on the bottom so it doesn't like rattle or shake because that is metal on metal. But it works out perfect, doesn't move, doesn't slide. It's fantastic. This is just kind of a catch-all. I have some like medical in there. I have a night light that's kind of a dimmer light than the lights that I have installed in the car. Um, it's just kind of a catch-all for whatever needs to go in there. It's not really meant for anything else besides just kind of catching stuff as needed. All right, so over here I got my Coleman uh, water jug. It's about a gallon, I think it is. And that's just kind of extra water to carry around just in case I need some more. Um, I have a Grassman. Uh, hammock that has a built-in bug net. I got that on Amazon for like 25 bucks. It wasn't that expensive and, it, and it's actually really good quality and has all the straps and everything you need to like hook it to any trees so that we don't like fall down. Works out fantastic. And over here I have a Teton, Teton Sports uh, camp pillow. Just a little 18 by 12 emergency camp pillow that I could add on to my regular pillow just in case that's not enough. 
All right, and then staying on this side over here, I have my uh, my blackout curtains. So these are super easy to install. These were $11 on Amazon, and they're fantastic, guys. They slide across this little rope. Um, they have a tightener tensioner right here for in case it's sagging at all, which it's sagging a little bit, so I could probably tighten that up um, and fix that. I don't really need to because nobody's going to look over, but they're really easy. It just has these little, like, metal clips that clip right onto the plastic of any car, and you just run it to the other side, and then uh, it has Velcro as well in the middle, so that way when you slide these together, the Velcro will latch and uh, lock it, so that way it's blacked out and no one can see in front. And then for the front window, I keep this uh, Punisher uh, blackout, you know, like weather, uh, sunblock, window visor thing up there. So this works out perfect, and it just slides right in that little hole down there. And then at nighttime while I'm laying down and I wanna watch you know, a show or a movie on my phone, I have this little neck um, uh, phone attachment that attaches to the neck of the uh, car seat um, of the headrest. And uh, yeah, it works out perfect. It pivots, moves around, and it tucks all back in. So it's really nice. Hides very distinctly like that. Um, very clean and, and just works out great for when I want to lay here and, and watch something on my phone. And I added one more thing over here. I did add a cup holder here just in case I needed one closer to my head. There's nothing really nearby except for this kind of center thing, which is actually fine. I could probably reach over. But I figured why not just add one more little, you know, cup holder just in case. Because the cup holders in these cars are pretty shallow. So this actually works out better anyways. All right, and here's a look from the back. It is very simple, guys. This setup, I can remove in and out in less than five minutes. It is so easy, so light, goes right into my storage uh, in my backyard, and it is just super, super perfect setup. Um, it's a little tough to tell, but this is a camping cot. I actually got this recently on walmart.com because all their camping stuff is like on sale. And I ended up getting this cot for $39.99. It was normally like $129.99. I forget the maker. It might be up here. And it was really long, but what I had to do was get creative with this, okay? So let me go ahead and show you what I did. All right, the maker is Mag Shion. So it's not like any kind of brand name, just an Amazon brand, but it works out great. And what I had to do because it was so long and I only had 63 inches, I believe, in here, was I had to remove this top, um, the, the extended part of the camp cot. So these screws right here, you see these two screw holes, those used to go to this thing right here and add on an extra, you know, like 30 inches or whatever it was. I think this was like 84 inch and now I have it down to 63. So I removed the screws, fit it on here as close as I could nicely, and then I zip tied it all together. So you have a zip tie through here, zip tie through here, and you have zip ties here holding all this nice and snug. So this lays down, I don't feel this little bar because of the sleeping pad, so even though that's elevated, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, this made it 63 inches, which is, as you can see, just enough. I think I had like 65, and it works out perfect. Um, let me fix this little pillow. This thing has a little pillow that comes in here, and it doesn't seem like much, but it does keep my pillow from like sagging um, when I'm laying my head down. So it actually works kind of really nicely. Uh, but that's what I did, guys. I cut this down and uh, well, I didn't cut anything. I just unscrewed it and I shortened it and secured it all with a bunch of zip ties. It's nice and strong, not going anywhere. And I chose this model with the legs so I have storage underneath. And I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, now what's cool about what accidentally worked with this setup is this. So... Right here where this middle leg is, um, you know, I did this model on purpose because I wanted storage underneath. So that's why I have, like, not the big cross thing all the way, you know, throughout the entire cot. I have this one that has basically three points, the middle, the, the back, and the front. And what accidentally happened was there was this little hump right here that is a plastic cover that covers the uh, part where the top of my coilover shock uh, screws in. Which is crazy. I had no idea, no idea that's how that worked. But down in there, um, I went ahead and I just removed the little bubble plastic piece that was there. And the leg fit right in that hole to make this nice and snug with the length of the element. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god, this is exactly what I wanted. And it's so perfect. So that was a complete accident that I hadn't even like thought about or calculated in. And uh, it worked out great. I put a couple towels under there uh, just to keep it off... Um, it was, it was kind of dipping in about an inch because the, the leg was floating. So I put some towels under there, little, little hand towels, 
to keep it out from um, you know off the ground and, and that way it's nice and sturdy and it won't move while I'm while I'm laying in bed all right so let me go ahead and show you what the pad looks like inside of the sleeping bag so nice thick sleeping bag right and on the inside you have this where is it hiding in there there we go we have this two inch sleeping pad that has like a nice soft um, velour texture to it and the bottom it does have that kind of uh, weatherproof bottom with the rubber and the uh, I think it's polyester bottom but kind of weatherproof to keep it you know when you're when you're camping in an actual tent to kind of keep the moisture off the bottom of the uh, sleeping pad and uh, yeah so that's what it looks like it's nice and clean guys looks really good works really good and I have so much layer of comfort here but yeah this setup is absolutely perfect um, I couldn't be happier I do have my camping chairs right here underneath the cot because it kind of holds these from from sliding around and I'll just show you an example of what I have in here so here's one right here these are just from Walmart and they fit everything perfectly underneath that cot I mean there's a lot of room under there right I mean I could probably fit these sideways and, and go with like two on each or four total but I don't have a lot that I bring with me this one's kind of just a random catch-all as well here I have a um, oh these are the um, the mesh for the windows when I roll down the windows to keep bugs from coming out I don't really care for the way they look because you know you see them from the outside of the car so there's nothing stealth about these they're only good for when you're actual camping camping um, this is a overhead net which I didn't install I bought it and I ended up not needing it just because I don't really have anything to store up there that I need to plus I would be blocking my window um, also I know a lot of elements they put their head kind of here towards the back of the car you know this area or whatnot and I decided to do my head on that side because I don't have any kind of blackout for my sunroof right now currently so I went ahead and I'll just go ahead and lay my head that way that way I'm not like woken up directly by the sun even though it will get bright and I'll figure out some kind of reflectix or something to put up there later on but right now we're laying this way and I actually don't mind it because like I said I can watch TV on my phone with that headrest uh, phone mount works out great all right let's get back to the little storage tub area so yeah so here's the ceiling cargo net that i don't need there's the mesh uh window um things for like rolling out the windows so you can keep bugs out if you're too hot in there this is a packable blanket for emergencies um haven't really used it yet only at the like the movie theater when i know it's going to be cold in there i'll pull that out and i have two of these which are really cool these are on amazon and these are these little they're like cha they're like chairs or tables they can hold like 250 pounds and they kind of like accordion up and like that's how it packs away. So here's one right here just to show you. So it's just a cool little like accordion style, um, you know, plastic rivet thing that twists and locks into place. It's adjustable on height. Um, you have these little holes that you spin to kind of lock and unlock it. And uh, yeah, I can use it actually right here on my tailgate when I'm eating. So like if I make my food and I want to go ahead and cook on my tailgate or eat or whatever, I can just sit down. And I'm at, like, perfect length for, you know, everything. It's they're really cool. Um, kind of popular. I think people, like, were bringing these to Disneyland. They got in trouble, so they just put an end to that. But these work out really cool. And they pack away really nicely. All right. Now, on top of my other charger that I use on the shelf over there, my, my main one, I have this emergency one that I can pack in my, you know, um, backpack if I go hiking or anything. Really cool. Another Amazon buy. It's solar as well, so I keep it on top of this little thing right here. And it can, you know, it'll charge when there's sun out. It's pretty gloomy day out here right now. So it's uh, it's not getting any sun, but it is fully charged as well. So, but it has, you know, light and it has a compass just in case. Really cool. And then I have my camp set up, which is fantastic and I love. Um, I put on, these are just uh, Dollar Tree LED flashlights that work out. They actually work really good. I'm really surprised. And I took this little, um, it's like a mop or broom holder. And it was at the Dollar Tree as well got a little hook in the middle and I went ahead and I screwed it into the side here and it doesn't obstruct the drawers but these flashlights just come right in and out like super easy and it works out really good uh, for storage easy to grab like flashlights in an emergency and they just tuck right back in they're like super easy and it locks it in place pretty cool actually I'm kind of like happy I thought about that my god this road just does not stop guys cars everywhere um, <laughs> good lord on the side over here, I do have my, here is my headlamp for nighttime, so it's easy to grab in there. Over in this little storage thing, let me kind of move this around a little bit, but I have flip-flops, I have an axe, 
I think I have emergency batteries and a rain uh, umbrella in this pocket right here. But that's where I keep all that stuff. Stuff kind of I don't really need all the time. Um, and then over here on this side, I'll move the bed. And I have my beanie. I have a lantern. And then I have my JBL speaker. That is not my primary lantern. It's kind of a small one. So it's just a, an emergency lantern. I don't have it on top of the car right now. But on my roof rack, I usually keep my Pelican case where it has a tent... It has two sleeping pads. It has a tarp for under the tent. Um, and it also has uh, sleeping bags, two sleeping bags. And I have, uh, what else? Oh, I have my Coleman um, propane lantern in there as well. So kind of all of the, or no, actually it's a white gas. Actually it's a white gas lantern. Um, so to go along with my vintage Coleman cooler, I mean stove, I have the cooler and I also have the lantern, but they're all in that Pelican box, which is not in my car at the moment. All right, now when I want to get into my camp kit, this is kind of where everything is at. I just kind of pull this bungee cord out of the way and everything is in here, easy to get to. So here is plate and utensils, right, for two. Um, actually guys, you know what, let me quickly say, I do have two camp chairs in here. So here's the first one and the other one is just down the way. Now, whenever you're camping, for security reasons, um, especially females, if you're camping alone, always put out two chairs around the campfire um, or around your table. Never make it look like you're alone because you're kind of just leaving yourself out there for a potential, you know, danger. Like we have some crazies in this world. So try to make it look like you always have two people with you, even if you're alone, just for safety. I do it as well. I always have two chairs around my campfire. I don't want it to ever look like it's just me alone. You know, that way people can, if you go to the bathroom, someone can come in and, and steal your stuff from your campsite or, you know, things like that. So always make it look like you have two people just to be safe. All right, back to the food stuff. Uh, so I've got some emergency glasses for fishing or whatnot. Here is the emergency kit for anything really so i have the little dollar tree you know little tupperware thing i have a couple fire starters in here with waterproof matches uh lighter i have a poop kit that's emergency as well so i have the the biodegradable toilet paper which you know it's really you know not the best for bearing but if you have to you can do it and i have a foldable little poop shovel just in case and i also have that in my hiking um, stuff as well and then actually this goes in here too I have a dry bag you never know you need a little small dry bag so that goes in there and then I also have this is kind of my all-purpose knife that I keep with me at all times nice little knife I lost the flint unfortunately right there I lost the flint to it that fell out um, but it's okay I can make fire other ways but this is kind of my go-to carry around camp hook it on my belt loop use for anything you know cutting veggies cutting meat cutting anything I need to this is kind of my all-purpose go-to knife all right, back into the drawer, we have this emergency Stanford medical little um, hiking kit. It's got Band-Aids and alcohol wipes, that kind of thing. Got this free at a Stanford football game. Got to have the dude wipes, right? This is how you shower when you do not have a shower available. So dude wipes are fantastic because they're 99% water. So they also have like aloe and like uh, vitamin E in it or something. So it's pretty, pretty crazy. Here is just the dishwashing necessities right here. Um, I rarely use that actually because I don't really, you know, do too much... Uh, dishwashing or anything like that on the go here is my bathroom kit so this has you know toenail clippers um q-tips got lotion i've got medicine sleepy pills deodorant comb toothpaste like just everything is in there just in case and it fits nicely right in there so that's the top drawer very easy to kind of store and keep everything nice and clean and it works out great the glasses the cookware very nice so that's top drawer middle drawer is a little bit cooler this guys is my favorite so this is my little coffee pot or my teapot or how i boil my water one second all right i couldn't open it with one hand so i went ahead and opened it set it here for you guys but this i got on amazon and is really cool this is my basically what i boil my water in um i'm not a coffee guy hot chocolate teas love them um this is that silicone that's like you know indestructible basically um and it cooks really nicely so i just boil my water in here it's got the teapot spout on top. It also has a handle that kind of opens right here. So you can, you know, do that, whatever. Um, but this thing is fantastic. My little teapot, Amazon, little buy right there. And then these are the little cups that, foldable cups that come with the little cooking kit that I got from Walmart, the, the plates. And uh, these are all right, you know, they're a little weird, but once you get it unfolded, they're fine, fine to drink out of. 
hot or cold actually, but they do fold up nicely, so that works out great. And then just a little towel for like wiping my hands off on. All right, and then right here, I have my jet boil, and I always keep it in plastic just because. But yeah, it's really cool. Um, this one's really nice, it has a nice adventure theme on it. This was like a weird sale at some point. I was like, oh, I gotta get it. So got my jet boil, it has everything you need in there to cook with. Uh, here is my little, um, little, what is it, butane, I guess, propane mix, but butane propane for the jet boil. It works out really well. Let me open it up and show you guys kind of how it works. Um, wait, let me just go ahead and do this for you. So this is my Coleman um, kit of knives and cutlery and all that as well. All right, so here's that little vintage Coleman um, like cooking kit. So I've got my knives, I've got spoons, spatula, like another spatula. I've got the tongs, got forks and spoons here. This is salt and pepper. And you got a cutting board and of course, you know, bottle opener and white and cork opener. So very cool. Comes in this nice little, you know, case. So it works out really cool. And then as far as the jet boil goes, this is what you got. So it's really simple to use. You can cook directly in this. It has the measurements as well. Here's your lid. Here's your bag. It all packs in there as you've seen. Um, you use the, pro the, the, the propane butane mix for your fuel and then your cup, your cooking cup kind of sits right on top and it does lock into place, which is really cool. Um, so you could use this, you know, for whatever you need, uh, it's cook and do. I have the grill, you know, just in case I want to, you know, cook stuff on a, you know, frying pan and, and do steak or whatever like that. But you have this, um, or you can also just put this on top instead of the cup and you can cook and make this a direct, um, you know, a, a grill itself, a smaller grill itself. And that works out great. And then here's just the top and extra legs for stability. So jet boil is really cool. Um, and it's just cool to have in here. And then these are just little, um, you know, Dollar Tree pot holders that I have to go ahead and set like the pots and pans on like after I'm done cooking so that way they're not burning my plastic or anything like that. So very simple and just kind of works really good. Okay, and then last but not least, the bottom drawer has, what does it have? Here is my cooking ware, the actual like uh, pot and little pan and stuff, frying pan in here. So that's the cooking stuff, and it also has like some dishwashing stuff in there, like a little um, scrub brush thing or whatnot. Uh, I always keep extra toilet paper just in case. My Yeti mug, um, gotta have that for my, you know, my hot chocolate and for my, my hot teas. And then in here is my little spices and my lighter, so gotta have the crystal hot sauce all the time. More salt and pepper, uh, what else? Lemon pepper, because I love that flavoring, and I also love Cajun flavoring on there as well. And then in case I have any kind of fruit, I always got a little thing, a small tahini on hand just in case. But that's it guys, very simple. Um, everything I need, you know, for a, a one or two night little getaway, you know, it's, it's just perfect. Um, like I said, my roof rack uh, box, my Pelican case up there has a tent in case I want a tent camp outside instead of being in here. So I have both as an option. It just depends on my mood, really. Um, and then the last thing to kind of talk about are going to be these lights. And these lights are cool. I got these on Amazon. They're just these little itty bitty globe lights. And uh, let me go ahead and go to the other side and show you that really fast because it just has a power button and I tuck that right into here, into that little little oh crap handle right there. So you turn it on and then it has a remote control which I keep right here next to the bed and I could change colors. So, you know, you just easily just change the colors however you want. So there's kind of like a Christmas look and here's red if you want red or you can go white if you want white, uh, you know, like a teal blue. You can go pink. I mean, any color you want, you can do. So it works out really cool. Um, and yeah, just on this little remote control, battery powered, so I'm not like plugged into like any of the other car. I'm not worried about wasting bat car battery. And uh, everything just kind of tucked in really nicely um, along the perimeter of all that plastic. And if you can see what I did here, um, I used uh, paper clips around the wire and I tucked them directly into the plastic all the way around. And that keeps everything nice and snug. And uh, it works out really good, guys. Um, yeah, so that's my lighting in here, just that. And then I have that little night light in this catch-all right there, which, you know, I'll use sometimes, but not all the time. Oh, I also have radios in there, walkie-talkies. So yeah, this works out really well, guys. This whole setup is just, it's just clean. It's clean and easy. And uh, I could take it out and put my seats back in if I want to. 
but I'm good to go anywhere, guys. So whenever I want to go snow camping uh, or anywhere a longer distance than my Westphalia wants to take me in a weekend, then I will go ahead and, and I'll use this guy, and I'll be I'll be happy. So yeah, I did just mention that I have a Volkswagen Westphalia camper van, full setup, beautiful car, love it to death, but. I wanted something for little quick getaways where I can go not only a little faster, but I want to be able to go snow, uh, be able to do some crazy, reckless, you know, below 15 degree camping at some point. I am in California, so, you know, we don't get that cold, but I can drive up to the mountains. Like Tahoe's up there. There's the, uh, the Sonora Pinecrest area where they get a lot of snow up there too. Uh, Big Bear in Southern California. So that's what this is for. This is for when I want to go out and make some videos on camping, um, quick, easy Honda Element camping where I can go in a tent or in the car, um, but not always with the luxury of my West Folly. I do do camping trips and that too, but this is kind of for a little bit more, I don't know, just, just different kind of road trip and camping, you know, a little bit different than the West Folia can do. So set this up and I'm very happy with it. Uh, I think... What I'll do next is I'm going to make a little, um, I want to order, there's this kit that, uh, hold on, let me show you, right here, there's this kit that goes in here. Um, I forget who it is, but they basically cut this plastic out and they make this like an extra drawer. So that's the next thing I want to do on the list. And eventually, I do want to do the e-camper on top of this. Um, I love it. I love the e-camper and I've always loved it. I mean, before I had a Honda Element, like, you know, probably first time I saw it was maybe about, mm, 2018, I saw somebody that had one that worked uh, at the same place as me. I was like, dude, that is freaking awesome. I want an e-camper. So an element has always been on my bucket list to get now that I have one. So, you know, I'll do this setup for a while, and then I'm going to eventually do the e-camper kit on top since I have the, the window to do so. Um, do the e-camper and then change this into more of like a, like a living room kind of situation as opposed to full-on bedroom living area. So... Um, yeah, guys, so there you go. There's a quick, easy, uh, little no-build camper setup in a 2006 Honda Element. Um, I'm ready to go out on some trips, guys. We're going to start doing some trips right away. I'm going to Disneyland this weekend, so after the Disneyland, I'll go ahead and I'll start doing those other trips. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing you out on the road. Talk to you later.